Monster Hunter, the game where you hunt down all kinds of beasts, like wyverns and dragons. But these beasts look a lot like some animals we once had on Earth. Maybe they are evolved dinosaurs. But how is this possible? Monster Hunter 4, it's the latest release in the Monster Hunter series developed by Capcom. I love the Monster Hunter franchise, it's a fun game to play with friends and explore. And as you can guess, the main goal of the game is to hunt down and kill monsters. Sorry vegans. The Monster Hunter culture is full of hunters and it has a nomad feel thanks to the caravan group you travel with. But let's get back to the monsters and beasts, there are some unanswered questions that need to be solved. Let's take a look at a couple of interesting and cool beasts, like the popo. The popo are herd forming herbivores covered in thick fur to endure the cold. Popo are gentle, but known to use their massive tusks bravely when defending their young. Popo meat is very nutritious, the tongue is said to be especially tasty. Or the gargwa, flightless bird wyverns with vestigial wings. They can often be found roaming wild in the misty peaks, and they are also raised as livestock in Yukumu village. Quite timid, gargwa have been known to lay eggs when startled. Now something way different like the Devil Joe. Devil Joe is a very large bipedal brute wyvern, characterized by its uniform forest green coloration and muscular upper body. Devil Joe has a narrow snout with a large lower jaw covered in multiple rows of spines spreading outwards from the teeth. Its thick hide is littered with short jagged spines that reach maximum height along the back and tail. It has massive powerful hind legs, but tiny poorly developed forelegs that it rarely utilizes. When provoked, Devil Joe's back and shoulder muscles will swell considerably. During this period, areas of its skin will take on a bright red coloration. The Devil Joe is armed with a powerful set of jaws that it can use to deliver bone crushing bites to prey and foe alike. In addition, its powerful hind legs allow it to run at relative high speeds and leap considerable distances towards prey. When enraged, the Devil Joe is capable of producing a mysterious cloud of emission which can be shot out of its mouth in a stream at prey. This substance contains the dragon element and can be very deadly to hunters as well as other monsters. Devil Joe is a nomadic monster, prone to wandering fast distances in search of prey. Its status as a super predator allows it to take over the territory of any other monster that stands in its way. Because of the extreme amount of energy its body consumes, Devil Joe is always in search of food sources. It is known to be cannibalistic and also prone to eating prey alive in order to waste as little time as possible in replenishing its energy. Now hold on, there's one thing that all these beasts have in common. Alright, listen to this. The beasts from the Monster Hunter series are dinosaurs that did not go extinct, but instead evolved. Do you believe me on this? No? Well, I will show you something quick. Alright, look at this. The popo, which I talked about earlier, well, here you see his real life counterpart, the mammoth, which roamed the earth around 5 million years ago. Commonly equipped with long curved tusks and in the northern species a covering of long hair. Mammoths were quite large, the largest known species reached heights in the region of 4 meters or 13 feet at the shoulder, and weights of up to 8 metric tons, while exceptionally large males may have exceeded 12 metric tons. However, most species of mammoth were only about as large as a modern Asian elephant, which are about 2.5 to 3 meters high at the shoulder, and rarely exceeded 5 metric tons. They lived in Africa, Europe, Asia and North America. The Devil Joe also has his own real life counterpart, it's the Carcharodontosaurus. They were some of the longest and heaviest known carnivoric dinosaurs with enormous jaws and long serrated teeth up to 8 inches long. Various scientists propose their length estimates between 12 and 14 meters or 39 and 46 feet, and their weight estimates between 6 and 15 metric tons. Now this can go on and on, a lot of the monsters from Monster Hunter are probably based on dinosaurs and prehistoric beasts and animals. His teeth are the same shape, his skin has the same texture, and his body with the strong hind legs, underdeveloped and small forearms and big tail are exactly the same as the dinosaurs. The same goes for the popo, who has the same type of fur and similar tusks. All of the dinosaurs on earth went extinct. Well, there are some descendants left, like birds and crocodiles, which are closely related to the ancient dinosaurs. We don't really know what happened to the dinosaurs. Some say it is thanks to an asteroid that crashed on earth, and others say it's thanks to volcanoes. The answer is, we don't really know. 
But all the monsters of Monster Hunter are just a bit different than their dinosaur or prehistoric counterpart. Well, this is all thanks to evolution. Biological evolution is not simply a matter of change over time. Lots of things change over time. Trees lose their leaves, mountain ranges rise and erode. But they aren't examples of biological evolution because they don't involve descent through genetic inheritance. The central idea of biological evolution is that all life on Earth shares a common ancestor. Just as you and your cousins share a common grandmother. Through the process of descent with modification, the common ancestor of life on Earth gave rise to fantastic diversity that we see documented in fossil records and around us today. Evolution means that we're all distant cousins. Humans and oak trees, hummingbirds and whales. For example, if there's an animal that lives in a very hot climate, then he won't have any fur. But as soon as the place starts to cool down, which takes for example 50 years, then he will grow fur to keep himself warm. The animal will change so that he will survive, and things like this can take up to hundreds, even millions of years. But there's a big chance that the dinosaurs did not go extinct in the Monster Hunter universe, but evolved instead to increase their chances of survival. And if I have to admit, fighting and killing dinosaurs? That's just awesome. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to share this video or why not subscribe or check any of my other videos. It really helps me out. Thanks a lot.